Hi, my name is Piers Ridyard, and this video is about the decentralized finance protocol Radix, the first layer one protocol specifically built to serve DeFi. Decentralized finance is blockchain's killer application. It is a thriving ecosystem that is already allowing billions in assets to work seamlessly together. DeFi apps like Uniswap are already beating exchanges like Coinbase in transaction volumes and huge numbers of dollars are pouring into DeFi every week. Unfortunately, today's DeFi application building is fundamentally insecure. When DeForce was hacked, $25 million was stolen in a matter of hours. $650 million flowed out of Yam.Finance because of a flaw in its code. Developers have a horrible choice. Move quickly and risk losing other people's money or try and build bug-free solidity code and miss the market opportunity. If you do decide to risk it and build a DeFi application on Ethereum or similar, the costs can bite deep. While the solidity code itself may come to $100,000 in man hours, getting it audited can come to up to a million dollars. The DeFi world deserves better. It needs a way to build quickly and securely. And that is what the Radix Engine V2 is designed to deliver. Instead of relying on difficult to secure smart contract languages like Solidity, our smart contracts use the same style of logic found in mission critical systems like nuclear power stations. They are conditional finite state machines organized into components that can be easily assembled together. You can think of these components like Lego building blocks. Each one is strong and complete on its own, but they are also designed to fit together, allowing you to build quickly and securely. Building on Ethereum and building on Radix will be like the difference between building with a block of clay and building with a box of Lego. Of course, if you really want to, you can go ahead and build your own Legos yourself adding to the ever-expanding catalog of secure Radix components, good for developers and good for the community. And here's the really clever bit. If you do build a new component, not only do you expand the Lego building blocks box for everyone, you can even get a royalty every time someone uses an application that was built using a piece of Lego that you made. And that's because Radix is building developer royalties directly into the Radix ledger as an intrinsic part of how the platform will work. And that is because it's not just large DeFi applications that make public ledgers successful. It's the community and individual developers who make building a billion dollar application possible in the first place. Community built coding libraries, tools and standards might seem small individually, but collectively they're the bedrock of all successful open source projects. At Radix, we recognize the power of the individual developer. Better components build better projects. Better projects attract more users. More users bring more transactions. And on Radix, more transactions should make more money for both projects and developers. Last but not least, none of this would matter if Radix was not designed for scale. Today, Ethereum is groaning with transaction congestion and transaction costs are constantly rocketing to all-time highs. Unfortunately, with the exception of Radix, most scalability solutions such as Ethereum 2.0 and Polkadot and Avalanche and Cosmos are near use sharding in a way that breaks one of the very things that make DeFi special, the ability to atomically compose together lots of DeFi applications. We believe there is a better way. We are building Radix to allow not just DeFi application scalability, but cross shard composability as well. Engineering a system where billions of DeFi users and millions of DeFi apps could work together seamlessly. The secret behind this is Cerberus, our mathematically proven consensus algorithm, and its groundbreaking ability to allow both synchronous and asynchronous consensus across a global sharded network. Find out more at radixdlt.com and help build the future of DeFi with us.